over the last week, you've probably seen a lot of discourse on uh, Twitter, especially if you're over there, Twitter, Twix, Twix, X, whatever you guys want to call it, that the act man is disingenuous and that he's just a grifter and he talks out of both sides of his mouth and this, that, and the other thing. And I'm going to be completely honest. I think those takes are wrong, but that doesn't mean that I think the act man is right. And I think that what I'm seeing is I'm seeing it a lot more with a lot more people. And the reason that I wanted to do this video specifically around the act man versus as situation is because it's a larger public figure that displayed something that I've seen in, in smaller figures online. And I think that we really, really need to talk about this because I think this wholly affects how we talk to each other online and move forward with human discussion. So guys, if you like what I talk about here, please do me a favor, like this video, subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell because that hugely supports the channel. It lets me know that you guys wanna see more about this particular type of subject matter. And to be perfectly honest, if you guys don't do any of those things, I have, that's a you problem, that's not a me problem. I've already hit the like buttons and all that for the people that I like. But anyway, if you guys like what I do here, I promise to do my best to actually add to the conversation and not just say the same crap that everybody else says online. Uh, that doesn't mean, you know, I'll always do that. I do my best to actually add, and I've been thinking about this for days now. So, if you guys are familiar with everything going on between as and Act Man, which is pretty much squashed at this point, um, you guys have probably seen the videos that have come out, and you probably saw this video right here. All right, what's up, everybody? This video is going to be posted on Twitter. It's going to be the evidence I talked about in regards to the Sweet Baby Ink stuff. That he posted over on Twitter. Now or X or whatever you want to call it. Now, it struck me as odd that he posted it there versus posting it on YouTube. Uh, but okay, you can maybe forgive him for that, but we might touch base on that a little bit because that does feed into what I'm seeing and what I am going to call this internet reality disassociation. And let's get into it. So obviously with the sweet baby ink coming out as from heel versus baby face, everybody was, you know, saying, well, at least the people in our corner of the internet was as was right, as was right. Uh, these companies are actually uh, putting and forcing into all of their video games and stuff like that. What's called modern dayisms or a lot of the woke stuff and a lot of the intersectional things, basically the Marxism of the modern day. Now, this kind of reignited the conversation, as the act man says here. If you're in the loop on that, great. If not, long story short, I made a tweet about Sweet Baby Inc. looking into it, and it has reignited the discourse around Starfield. Well, he wasn't correct. It, it didn't actually ignite the conversation around Starfield again. It reignited the conversation around the way that the act man treated as. So one of the things that a lot of people really need to pay attention here, and this is where the crux of the debate comes, okay? What Actman said in the video privately versus how he acted publicly online. And he says things like this. Each other. I made those tweets because I didn't understand what he was saying. And, be and because it's, it's the internet, you know, we're public figures. It's just the internet right? It's just the internet. And my God, I'm seeing this more and more with so many people, guys. And basically, let's just talk about it. I absolutely believe that there is a cognitive dissociation between people interacting online and thinking that it's just not real. The internet isn't real. So it doesn't matter what you say on the internet because it's not real. And then they try to go and when they're doing DMs, which are considered very real, right? All of a sudden, now they have to talk how they actually want to be, right? It's part of the reason that you see the act man say things like he's going, you know, it makes him want to vomit over the sweet baby ink stuff. And yet months ago, he was saying he hoped that more pronouns were injected into video games because he out of spite for guys like as this right here, is the entire 
crux of the situation. There are people out there who falsely believe that the internet is just some fairy tale land that you can literally say anything that you want to about anyone. You can change your opinions on a dime because it's just the internet, bro. We can just say things on the internet. It's just for content purposes. Sounds good. Let them know that I do have a video about Starfield hot takes going up. It's a bit late for me to unpull the trigger and it is mostly for content purposes. And while he is saying all of this stuff, while he is posting things on the internet, bro, for his audience, okay, he is trying to have a genuine conversation in the background, but he is working under the false premise that the parties who he's engaging with believe that the internet is just this fake Narnia where the fairies go and it, and it doesn't really exist, so it's okay to say, when in reality, the internet is just the modern day version of the piece of paper, the place that we go to communicate with each other. And if you believe that the piece of paper that you're writing on is just fake and it doesn't matter what you say, you have breached the trust of human communication. And I'm seeing this more and more. I've, I've seen it a lot on Twitter. I've seen it even on uh, YouTube where people are like, well, it's just content. It's just, they don't believe in the sanctity of one human conversing with a group of humans inherently violating the trust, that bond that we share. Because if we can't talk with each other, if the internet is just fake and one party believes that it is okay to just make up anything that they want to and the other party, because it's the internet, bro, and the other party believes, no, I'm actually talking to a human being here and I am communicating with many human beings, especially these channels that have larger uh, uh, subscribers or larger subscriber counts you're going to have a disconnect. So a lot of people were saying, he's a grifter, he doesn't believe in anything. No, I think that this guy has internet cognitive dissociation. That's what I'm going to coin the term because I'm starting to see it crop up. Actually, we've seen it crop up and I'm sure you've heard people say it. It's just the internet, bro. You can lie, you can cheat, you can steal because the, in what, you think the internet's real? I've actually had that said to me. You think the internet's real? Well, it's a communication tool, and that's all it is. Somebody works on the internet, codes it, puts it out there. People, people make words and type on it. You see, the internet is just a piece of paper. And I think that this is a growing problem with content creators. I think this is a growing problem with people interacting on social media, right? And I, and again, there are studies that have gone back to like 2006, if I can find the one that I was checking out the other day, about how people are making alternate personas for different platforms. So you will actually see, because they've got to get those likes and those thumbs ups, right? You will see how they start to act very differently based on the platform that they're actually posting to. And so would it really be too far outside of the realm, especially when I see people saying, it's just for content, bro. But, but your content is designed to communicate with people. Why would you treat that communication with such flippancy? Why would you treat communicating with another person with such little care? And I think that the act man is not a grifter, and I don't think that he's disingenuous. I think that he believes his communication online does not matter. And the scary part is, is when people start to do that, you have no idea the lies that they'll tell because the internet's just fake. Who cares what you say on the internet? It's just content, bro. It's just a Twitter post, bro. It's not real, bro. So the words that you said aren't real. That's interesting. And I'm seeing it a lot. And when I saw the act man's video, it jumped out at me and it jumped out at me hard because he's the largest creator that I have seen do this. I do not believe that the act man is grifting. 
I think he just believes that the internet is made up and he has a cognitive dissociation and doesn't realize that there are human beings on the other side of his video. There are human beings on the other side of his Twitter posts. Because to him, it's just the internet, bro. Clickety, 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 clack, lie. Clickety, 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 clack, change my opinions. It's just the internet. Who cares? And I think that until we start calling this out and addressing this issue, it only gets worse. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for checking out A Drink With Crazy. I look forward to seeing you all down in the comments sections that I read live every single Sunday right here at 11 a.m. Central. It's a live stream called Sunday Coffee. So you guys can jump in. You can disagree with me if you want. Doesn't matter. I read your comments and I am glad to have you guys there. And as long as you treat this as me talking with you and not you just posting on the internet, bro, we're gonna have a fun time. And if you treat it as just posting on the internet, bro, I will roast the absolute hell out of you. And my audience generally has a fun time with that. So as always, until next time, cheers, everybody.